Hi everyone. I have not been on here in so long that I'm so sorry. I have been working so much and um, I just have not had time to film and my film stand is crap. Is it gonna stay? No, of course I have my glasses on. I'll take them off and I, even though I can't see it out of the camera, but I just showered obviously and um i have my my uh, shirt down because i just did my sunless tanning and i wanted to talk about sunless tanners because there are so many different ones and each tanning sunless tanning that you do sunless tanner um it's going to be a different color so there's golden there's like a dark bronze so today i went for the golden color because i have golden skin so i like just to have that um, golden glow to my skin. So I'm going to show you the first product that um, I went in with, which is one of my favorite sunless tanners. Um, it's kind of my go-to and it smells bomb. So um, here's my mitt that I have. I just used it. Um, you can get them on Amazon. It's so cheap and mine's like super soft. It's like a velvet and um, I just washed it because <laughs> I do sunless tanning all the time. But uh, yeah, so the first product I am going to talk to you about is by Coco and Eve. I'm sure you guys have heard of them or seen them on Instagram. They have like exploded. Um, and I bought this when it first came out. I thought it was bomb. I actually have two bottles and this one's almost empty. So this is the Coco and Eve Sunny Honey Ballet Bronzing Foam. Um, I just have dark. I actually wanted ultra dark, but I didn't get it. But this one here is more of a golden color. Um, at least on me it is. When it comes out, it looks kind of dark. But when you apply it um, and it dries, it's actually a beautiful golden, like, dark color. Like a dark golden color. It's not like a, that um, dark bronze. So you got bronze and golden. I consider them totally different, um, which they are. So, but this one here I like because I like the golden color. It dries super fast. It is not sticky and it doesn't smell um, bad at all. And it, it's actually the fastest drying one that I've ever used. And it's the only one that doesn't make my bed at night like stink. So, yeah. It's got like a fruity kind of like a fruity scent um but it doesn't smell bad it says no streaks no bad smells ha <laughs> no stress unique uh cell you shade formula infused with raw virgin coconut botanicals and amino acids to hydrate and firm the skin um it's got oils in it it's got banana papaya cocoa to help improve signs of aging it blurs pigment and perfects the skin so it makes an even color and um, it's tropical mango guava scent. Yeah, tropical Balinese mango and guava scent. See, very hard to describe. Lightweight and non-sticky. It is super lightweight. Oh, I can smell it all day. It smells so, so good. You don't, you would never know that I had sunless tanner on. You'd be like, girl, what perfume do you have on? And I probably wouldn't tell you my secrets. <laughs> All right, next is my second favorite, which is the Bondi Sands Aero uh, Air Rated Self Tanning Foam Ultra Dark Quick Dry Intense Hydration Coconut Scent Australian Made, which I love Australia. It's where I get my shampoo and like a lot of my stuff from. But anyways, um, this one here I like, but not as much as the Cocoa and Eve. I like this one. It definitely does dry fast, but not as fast as the Cocoa and Eve. Um, I've tried them side by side, um, definitely like the Coco and Eve, but if you want a darker color, um, like that dark, um, color, yeah, dark bronze, not the golden color, I would go with the Aero, um, ultra dark. It's definitely that dark bronze color. It doesn't have a golden tint and when you apply it, it does go on super dark, but it applies super evenly as well. Um, you don't got to worry about any streaks, anything like that. And it does dry fast. I know, uh, one of my sister actually told me to try this and, um, I did because uh, she couldn't tan either because all the tanning beds were closed. But, um, I decided to try it and I do like it. I like the color, but, um, I'm telling you, the Coco and Eve is where it's at. I just cannot say enough good things. Um, but um, if you can't get get that one or don't want to go online to buy it, uh, you could get this at Walgreens. I think Ulta. I got mine at Walgreens. Walgreens has a ton of different ones that um, you can get. But um, 
It says intense hydration too, which is super good because you want something that's going to um, hydrate the skin too. And when your skin is hydrated and it has hydration in it, um, your sunless tanner is going to last a lot longer. And then once it starts to fade and it gets that um, patchy color, you want to exfoliate and then do it again because when it starts to dry, it looks like crap. Uh, any sunless hair does um because you know the elbows and like right here on me is where I get I actually have to wash my hands because I did not because I just put it on but um yeah for an even streak free tan ensure your skin is clean exfoliate and free of any moistures um I just showered and I exfoliated apply bondy sands uh mitt for face and elbows and knees I would not put this on my face I'm going to show you my secret to the face in a second because mine is pale and I got so much acne going on it's because of these stupid masks but anyways I think this one's like $30 you can get it at um Walgreens now I'm going to talk about two products I use um daily uh just to keep my skin uh that color and the one that's going to be from Colourpop is this one gradual sunless tanning it says it is. I don't notice any color on it, but it smells bomb. I use this actually as a moisturizer during the day. So before I go to work, I actually throw this on and I will read it to you. What is it? Tan, but make it easy. This hydration daily body lotion builds a gradual, natural looking tan for sun-kissed bronze skin any time of the year richly nourished but never greasy this fast absorbing lotion is infused with coconut argan and uh, marilla whatever <laughs> i'm so bad at words oils for ultra soft and healthy skin so i do use this daily it's just as a moisturizer it's medium with deep it's actually a lotion and goes on clear and um it just keeps uh, the skin hydrated and, and it really helps with the color. Now, if I'm feeling super bougie and I want a super dark tan, I go in with this bad boy. This is my ride or die. I love this. Um, this is just a bronzing lotion. It goes on super dark and kind of gives you like that instant dark um, color. You can probably see it already in the lid. Like it's super dark. But um just self tan. I actually found this at Marshall's for like, how much was it? 12 something. And I was like, oh, let's try it. But, um, I tried it and then I loved it. So, and this is hydration as well. It's got apricot oil. They all have different oils in them. This does smell like tanning though. This does not. That's the thing with me is that if I, <laughs> if I don't care, I'm going to go in with this. And if I want to be dark now for my daily hydration, definitely going to go in with this. Next is my all-time favorite product that I am going to show you. And there is a reason for it. Let me grab all of them. I have so many. So this one here is by Utan. It's actually the Jamie Genevieve CBD Tanning Water Gradual Facial Mist infused with CBD and Scottish Lavender Oil. Uh, this is almost gone. I've gone through about four bottles of these. I actually use it for my face, neck, and chest. Um, if I don't do a lotion and I just am going to bed and then I'll take my blow dryer and I'll like dry everything. But these are my new ones all right here. And I'm super excited because this one is different. So it's, um, you could tell that mine's like older because, um, it's a little bit different with the packaging. Mine is definitely old. I bought it long time ago and I just bought like a bunch of them but this is, right here is the same thing but this one is 50% darker so this is going to be darker on my face and I'm super excited because I have not actually used this one yet so I'm gonna finish up my skincare tonight and I'm gonna see how it looks um in the morning but it smells so good it just smells like lavender it really does. Um, but I got three of them. You could get two of them on sale and then I just bought an extra one because shipping and stuff is expensive. So when I buy something, I try just to stock up on it and grab like um, a whole bunch. Now, when I bought this, I bought the three and then I got this for free. And this is another new product that I have not yet tried. Um, it's Skin Idol. It's face and body bronze instant photo ready skin finish so it's like a body highlighter i'm super excited to try this i kind of want to save it for the summer but um you want to apply it using a u-tan mitt let it sit for 60 seconds before getting dressed set with setting spray for extra whatever 
But yeah, 24 hour wear. I hate not having my glasses on. So let's read what uh, Jamie says. This is a staple if you're looking for flawless skin. It can be worn over self tan for a dramatic look or on its own for a last minute fix or mixed with moisturizer for a sub subtle glow. I hope you guys love it as much as I do, Jamie X. So um, I think uh, when I'm off next, um, I might try this out just like on my shoulders, like right here, like the collarbones, and we'll put it on the shoulders as well. Yeah, I'll just do like the whole top area, and uh, I'll see how it looks, but it de definitely does have like a little bit of um, shimmer to it, and I'm super excited to, to try this. But for now, I'm going to try this bad boy tonight. We're going to see how um, it works. Uh, the older one was not as dark, so it's just as gradual face mist. Same thing as this, but I think this one's going to be darker than the um, older one. Like I said, I don't know how long I've had it, um, but I love this for the face. I also have tan drops, and they're good, but I don't like them as much as I do the spray. The spray gives my face more of an even, it's not too strong or intense um, look, and you just spray it on. The only issue I have with sunless tanners for my face is my eyebrows. My eyebrows are super light as well as my lashes and my eyebrows always turn a um, weird um, color. So I don't, I always try to take a Q-tip um, over it, but we'll see how it goes. I'm super excited to try it. Um, yeah, that's it for my um, tanning, I guess, advice. Um, if you can't afford anything and you're looking for like a drugstore brand, um, I used to use this all the time, even in high school. Dang, am I old? I'm in my 30s, but don't tell anybody. Um, is the Jurgens? Jurgens is one of my favorites. I used to use the L'Oreal in high school. They had like wipes, but they were like orange. That's the thing is that I don't like orange. So you definitely want um a golden or a dark bronze. I like the golden. It looks um more natural on me and I'm hoping that this kind of matches this we shall see we shall see but anyways um you can find all of these online um or in the store besides this one and like the UTAN stuff but I hope you guys enjoyed this video um I will show you guys tomorrow how my tan looks and I will see you guys in my next video bye babes